Welcome. Hi, this is Scotch with Bob and Matt. I'm Bob. And I'm Matt. And we're here today uh, to talk to you a little bit about uh, a new one that we got. Well, not so new because we've had some. Not anymore. Uh, but it is new. was new to us. Uh, this is the Glenallachy 10-year-old. Uh, a nice Scotch. Beautiful color. Oh, God. Uh, it's at cask strength. Yep. Which is 50... Six fifty-seven point eight percent non-chill filtered. About one hundred sixteen proof. Lovely natural color. Yep. Um, we actually had this at our cask strength tasting that we had at Flanagan's Irish Pub back in June. Yep, it was June, and uh, hugely well recepted. Uh, this is, I mean, look at that. That is just a gorgeous. Gorgeous whiskey. They've come out with uh, several batches of this, very similar to um, the Avalauer uh, Abuna, uh, where they do it in batches. This is uh, batch six, I believe. And my understanding is, oh, that's right, I had a taste of the five. I didn't own a five, right? That's what it was. And I liked the six better than the five. And I watched a couple of videos that people have had the earlier ones and said it has progressively gotten better. And I think they're up to eight, batch eight at this point. Okay. And uh, Ooh, quickly. somebody that I read had said the seven was better than the six and the eight was better than the seven. So um, Billy Walker is doing a phenomenal job with this. And, I mean, just to smell this, taste it, it's a, it's a feast for your eyes. I mean, it's gorgeous. Uh, the Glenallachy is actually uh, in a space site. And it's relatively new. It was, uh, we always talk about distilleries going back into the 1800s or so. Uh, the Glenallachy uh, is from 1967. Right. Um, so it's a relatively uh, uh, young distillery, but they're producing out some uh, excellent scotches. Amazing, amazing scotches. What they're, what they're doing is they're adding some of their old uh, first pours. Uh, into the uh, the new batches to give it a little age in there. I've certainly done a good job with it. Um, also, what what has taken place with this is um, I mentioned Billy Walker earlier. Billy Walker got together with a with a couple of his friends and um, got this together in twenty seventeen. Yeah, I think. Yep. And. Once he's done that, I mean, he's done some amazing distilleries, and if you follow his work, the, the whiskey follows him, and beautiful. Um, he has come out with some just amazing, amazing scotch. So, this one is, is quite well enjoyed. We've had um, the 12, the 15 of this as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. We had any others? Um, not from the Glenallachy. Uh, those are the only ones we've had so far. Uh, they have won several awards uh, in the San Francisco Gold Medal Awards uh, and a few others. I've always scoffed a little bit at the award um, ceremonies uh, when the distilleries say that they won these different awards. Um, a lot of times they're awarded by their distilleries to try to uh, promote sales. And, you know, I always found it a little bit off. Uh, I would much rather have a ceremony or an award ceremony where they were adjudicated, uh, comparing each other and coming out with ones that are the best. And these are, most of the award ceremonies are uh, geared to helping the distilleries uh, sell their product. Um, but on this one here, this one really uh, lit me up. Uh, I really like this one and I agree totally with uh, the awards that this one has won. Yeah, anything anything it's won has been well deserved, so. Good stuff. I sat around with this one and then we came up with uh, a few notes on this one. There's definitely, with the darkness, you get uh, some dark chocolate, some dark berries. Um, I get a little raisin in this one here. Um, you get a little bit of that fudge chocolate, a really dark chocolate that I really like. It's extremely rich. Um, a little mocha in the nose on this one. 
think you also said balsamic vinegar on the nose. Yeah, there's yes, there is a little bit of uh, that tartness that's coming off of the balsamic vinegar, and you really get it uh, on almost the first hit when you nose that in. It's uh, for the taste on the palate. It's uh, nice and sweet. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. It's uh, yeah, thick it's and rich. Um, there's. Uh, I got the mocha, I got the coffee that's in this a little bit, I got a little bit of the fig that they mentioned. Yes. You get that little bite of uh, a fig in there. Um, there is a peppery uh, cinnamon spice uh, to this one here. And a great mouth feel. Yep. Nicely coats your tongue. Yes, and I just love the dark chocolate taste on this one. And if you have a little piece of dark chocolate at the same time, it's excellent. Oh, I didn't bring my little chocolate out. Could have had the chocolate. But this one's got plenty of dark chocolate by itself. It's got a nice long finish. This one warms you all the way down. Good, good little winter drink. Definitely, uh, still that dark chocolate just stays with it, um, and you still get a little bit of that cinnamon uh, touch. It's really good. And it's very good. You want to mention the. Uh the attractive stopper we have in there? Well, we happen to have a friend of ours who loves to uh, do turnings, uh, Jeff Warren, and he has made a couple of stoppers for us for our scotch, and he's also made a small one for the wine. These here are uh, in the shape of thistles uh, that he did for us, and actually these are going to be auctioned off at our whiskey tasting uh, March 25th at the uh, Dunedin Golf Club yes, and yes. Uh, we have a night of uh, tastings and we'll have dancers, uh, pipers and other entertainment that night and so uh, these will be on the auction table. Uh, you can be able to uh, purchase these uh, that night. and uh, Try to purchase them. Yes. Because these will be popular. Everybody will be, want be wanting their name as the bottom one to win the bid. I was lucky enough that uh, Jeff made me a, a one at home, and we used it the other night, and it works perfectly. Uh, seals it off, and it's a nice cap uh, rather than the normal top that comes with them. So, which uh, work? They which work. work? But this is nice when you have friends over, and uh, you want to show off a little bit. And that's the thistle shape is a is a really great thing for them. Just a wonderful job he's done. Well. So, um, as always, we like you to uh, like our videos, share them with your friends, uh, subscribe if you want to hear some more of this conversation about whiskey or glasses or... Ring the little bell. Or casks or whatever else we've talked about. And we hope you can go out and get this. It's at uh, Lucan's, I believe, right yes, now. Yes, this, one, this one's at Lucan's. Oh, and it's about $90. We, thank you. I, I would, it's about $90 for this bell. bell. So, uh, an excellent one. This one will be in my stable... Uh, many years now. And although it's only 10 years old, it is uh, it is one of the special ones. It is one of the best 10-year-olds. And it was the best one to keep on there, so keep it on. Slunch of